Hi, Jamie Guilin, Senior Instructor with the Raspberry Golf Academy at Royal Manchester Golf Links. So much about great putting is pace, or really distance control. The ability to control how far the ball is going to roll is imperative to not only not three putting, but making more putts. So I want to show you a drill today that's going to help with practicing your distance control and, and inevitably making it better. Now, some of this is a method thing. So for example, I, I like to walk off all of my putts in practice and on the golf course. And you know, it's a, that's one side of the brain that some of you may not like to access and others of you might really like that. So that's a preference, you don't have to do that, but it's just another way for me to confirm what my eye is telling me. So for example, I'm going to walk off a putt and I'll say to myself, okay, it's a 13 step putt, slightly downhill, into the grain, whatever, you know. It's just another way to confirm what I'm seeing. So that's something that you may want to start to do in practice, but as far as this drill goes, what I want you to do is walk off five steps, 10 steps, 15 steps, and 20 steps from a hole on the practice green. Put a alignment rod or a club three feet behind the hole. And what we're gonna try to do is get the ball to finish between the front lip of the hole and not touching the stick. So you've got about a three foot space you're trying to roll the ball into that would be just beyond the hole. Perfect distance on any putt would be about one revolution past the hole, which is about the size of your hand past the hole. So the old idea of 18 inches past is really too far to have the, you know, to give the ball the best chance to go in. So really, I want the ball rolling really slowly around the hole if we can. Um, and this is, you know, I'm giving you a good size buffer here, but it's just one way to start developing that feel and putting those connections together and that's gonna help you on the golf course. So let me show you this drill. So what I want you to do is get four golf balls after you've walked off your five, 10, 15, 20 step distances. By steps, I mean you know yards, paces. So I've got my four golf balls at five paces from the hole, and I'm gonna to try to get all four between the front edge of the hole and the stick. Now if you miss one, you gotta start over. So it adds a little bit of pressure to what you're doing. And you know, it really shouldn't be too hard from five steps. Okay, so I hit the stick, so now I've got to start over. So I'm going to bring my balls back and try again. Okay, so I got two of them in the hole, and these two are past the hole, so past the front edge of the hole, but not to the stick, so they're in the correct zone. So I would then get to move on to 10 total steps, or 30 feet, and try to get all four of those in. If I miss one of those, I start over again at 30 feet, or at 10 steps. So I don't, I don't do the drill where you'd have to start all the way back at the beginning, although if you could if you wanted to make it harder. Um, but try this, it gets awfully tough once you get to that 15 and 20 step zone. You're then talking at 60 feet trying to get four putts to be rolled within a three foot radius here, you know, a three foot space, which is pretty difficult, especially at certain green speeds. Um, the slower green speeds, it tends to maybe be a little easier, but try this. I think this is going to help you a lot. And, uh, you know, it's not for lagging purposes, although it should cut down on your three putts. The real reason is to make more putts. You can make more putts at the proper speed. 
Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.